Oh yeah! You totally clicked that video! This is gonna be a good tech link <laughs> Hello? You probably already know that Google's Pixel 6 devices with their new in-house Tensor chip are set to be fully revealed soon. But it looks like Google might be releasing more phones before the year is out because they never did learn the value of limits. Google everything. They have everything in there. <laughs> Hanging out with Zuckerberg too much. Plentiful leaks and rumors are pointing to Google releasing their first foldable device, codenamed Passport, with a design similar to what we've seen from the Samsung Z Fold lineup, including the same LPTO OLED panel, actually. You mean the very same? Like it's going to be the same size? I don't know. What do I know? You write... The news comes from a reliable leaker, as well as code inside the next version of Android, which also points to a Z Flip style smaller foldable codenamed Jumbo Bo Oh, Z Flip. Jumbo Jack? Jumbo Jack. Jumbo Jack, but it's smaller. See, that sounds like a fake code name, and this is making me second guess the whole thing. It sounds like a supersized meal at an American fast food place. It sounds like my cousin dude. Sounds like the inside of a fake leg. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft's Surface hardware event is this Wednesday, and unlike previous years where all we got was the same devices with spruced up internals, we might be in for a pretty major refresh. I mean, Microsoft needs you to buy new hardware for Windows 11 to justify its ridiculous new hardware requirements, right? I have to have six unused USB ports? Is that real? No. Come on! A leaked storage page for the Surface Pro 8 makes it seem like it'll have a 120 Hertz display finally matching Apple's iPad Pros and two Thunderbolt ports for accessories like external GPUs and high speed storage. It also looks a lot more like the Surface Pro X, Microsoft's super sleek ARM powered device that no one should buy because it performs very badly. Very sleek though. Altogether, we might be looking at Microsoft's biggest upgrade to the Surface Pro devices in years, hot on the heels of Apple's smallest upgrade to its iPhones in years. <laughs> they are completely separate categories of devices, but we felt the need to highlight that. Still upset from last week. Lightning port. If you're based in the UK, your Google services might get a little bit zippier as a new undersea cable has reached the town of Bood. Bood? In, in Cornwall, Southeast England. No way, bro. I love the sea. <laughs> this cable is actually a branch of the existing Grace Hopper cable, which runs from New York City to Bilbo Baggins in Northern Spain. Bilbao in Northern Spain. Although there's another high capacity cable called Maria, which runs from Virginia Beach to the aforementioned Bilbao. That one is owned by Microsoft and Facebook. Grace Hopper, owned by Google, just landed in Bilbao earlier this month and is expected to go live next year. I can't stop laughing. We're all very happy for her. It's the first major cable to connect America and Britain in 18 years. So have a cheeseburger with a cup of tea to celebrate. It's dippable. What about second cheeseburger? <laughs> now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by the Drop Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones. They're one of Drop's all-time bestsellers with over 60,000 sold, probably because they have the same awesome driver as the HD 650 with balanced mid-range and natural sounding bass. Thanks to community feedback, they come with a detachable six foot cable instead of a silly 10 foot one, along with a 1 8 inch plug for everyday use and a quarter inch adapter for when you go pro. Not the brand. When you want the girth. And of course, Sennheiser's long term support is included naturally, so click the link below naturally and join the drop today, actually. The natural way. Quick bits? Is that you? You've changed your head! iOS 15 is officially available for iPhone users to download today, and it brings a bunch of cool updates like the expanded focus do not disturb feature and a visual redesign of Safari. Yay! But the bigger news may be that for the first time, instead of requiring users to update to iOS 15, Apple will actually release security patches for iOS 14. It's part of an outreach initiative to help iPhone users understand what it's like to be a pleb from the other side, stuck using Android Marshmallow. <laughs> if you've noticed that certain Chinese brands are no longer available on Amazon, this is by design as the Zon has banned more than 600 of those brands due to fraud. The fraud took the form of paid reviews, which is a huge problem for obvious reasons. Some of these brands are quite well known like Rav Power and Tautronics. No word on whether any of them will be given a second chance. Unlike Amazon warehouse workers, who won't meet their quotas. Oh, oh got him. I get it. James. They did. You really don't like Jeff Were their Bezos contractors. Saying? America's National Transport Safety Board is most displeased with Tesla as they're claiming the automaker's cars have basic safety issues, basic stuff guys, related to their self-driving tech, especially as Tesla has been using public roads for their beta tests and their full self-driving feature is actually anything did you but. Pay taxes for those? Tesla may be forced to start accurately describing its features. 
So keep a lookout for the Hover Hands Robot Car Mode rebrand. Sad. Okay. Who came up with that? You actually need your hands on the wheel while applying a slight amount of force. IKEA has a new unpronounceable gadget. It's an under desk wireless Qi charger. I can barely even say Qi, you know? You attach it under your desk surface with either tape or screws and it'll provide Qi 1.2.4 5 watt charging. I think, there's a lot of numbers on the screen right now. As long as your desk isn't thicker than 7 eighths of an inch. More numbers. That's another number if you're using the metric system. The new product is called the Schlomarke. <laughs> Schlemarke. They're Italians. <laughs> I apologize to everyone involved in this. And researchers at Purdue have come up with something that might save us all tons of money on air conditioning one day. It's the world's whitest paint. And it's so reflective, it reflects so much radiation that it actually makes the surface cooler than the air. It's the whitest paint you know. It's like the opposite of Vanta Black. The hope is one day this kind of paint will reduce our reliance on power guzzling AC. Assuming, of course, you per don't mind having a Stark White House. I sure don't, hashtag minimalism. Hashtag Tony Stark. Oh, that too. Yeah. And if you don't mind, it's time to end this episode. Sista, I gotta go hit the can. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news, probably about Microsoft. This whole thing will be white. Yeah. I'm, I didn't know what you were referring to when I read that, yeah, and I was like, this that's, is, that's what I, the script's yeah. not gonna age well. Yeah, I thought you would read my mind.